what's going on guys we are back in texas and it feels good this morning i'm sitting up on top of a, a flat up here on, on top of a ridge and I'm, it's probably 8 30 now and i'm just doing this interview i've been covered up with animals all morning um i've done seeing a pig i think it was a seen one before so I have to look it up but I've seen two eight points one was really nice but just not quite a shooter the other one was small and a spike so I've been I've been covered up with animals pretty much all morning that small eight still out here feeding but um up here I'm after the buck that I was after during both season that that big tent with the the trash everywhere. He, uh, he's been pretty regular on this camera, which is not where I hunted during bow season where he was, but it's not far, so we are finally here, and hopefully within the next couple of days, the feeder just went off, so hopefully within the next couple of days we'll be able to knock something down. So, I'm going to sit tight, and uh, hopefully that, that deer will come into this feeder here in a few minutes. So, we'll see you all in a little bit. It's about 9.45 or so. I had another small 8 point or 9 point come in for a little bit and feed around and stuff, but they just left, so I'm going to probably be getting down here in a few minutes. I'm sure my ride's going to be here, so we will. That was a good morning. So didn't see the one I wanted to see, but I saw a really, really nice deer and some other, you know, decent deer that have a lot of potential. So, it was a overall first, uh, good first morning here in Texas, so we're going to go back, get some breakfast, lunch, and uh, we'll be back out this evening for the evening set. Alright, what's going on guys? We are back in the stand for the evening. It's probably 5 o'clock or so. It, it warmed up pretty good during the day. The sun came out and it's probably like 75 degrees, so movement might be towards dark or right at dark I'm not sure how they're gonna react with, with it being kind of hot so we got a couple of hours we're, we're back in the same spot as we were this morning so uh, still after that big deer so we're gonna sit tight we're gonna hang out here for a while and uh, hopefully before long you know an hour or so we'll have some some deer some some fallow axis, something like that coming out, so y'all stay tuned. some brush so 
I never even had a shot at them, but it looked like there was about six or eight of them, and there was one black one that looked like he was pretty good, so I probably would have shot that one, but we're, uh, we're, we're just hanging out today. The feeder should be going off in probably 30 minutes or so, so. It's, it's cool this morning. It was like 45 degrees, so we're going to sit tight and hopefully we'll have some deer come out here in a little bit, so y'all stay tuned. expecting and two they have we got a management book that's been on this camera he's like 20 21 inches wide it's an eight point super wide and he just doesn't have that very tall tine so and we had him on camera last year and he, he didn't grow any taller he just got a little bit wider so he hasn't grown much so that's one that we want to get out so that's the deer I'm after in here or you never know what else would show up so it warmed up pretty good today it's probably man almost 80 degrees probably but we got a strong uh, wind blowing so it's, it's keeping it cool so on the way in I saw, we saw four coming in and then when we pulled up here there was uh, two does and a fawn feeding out here so that's a good sign so we're going to hang tight and sit for a little while the time changed yesterday or last night so it's going to be getting dark around probably 6 six fifteen. so we, uh, we're going to hang tight and hopefully we can have some deer piling in here in a little bit so y'all stay tuned
Got him. I'm hanging out the window because there's no light in this box now. But we got a little piglet down. Hey, little pig. Oh, yeah, you got your pig. Ooh, that's a good size. Good size, Perfect. Man, right behind the ear. That's awesome. Flip them over. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. All right, so it is our last, it's my last morning here for this trip in Texas. I, uh, I changed spots again and it uh, wasn't a very good idea, so I've wanted two stands, one morning and evening and another stand another morning and evening and the two bugs I'm particularly after are both at those feeders right now so I hunted yesterday saw 20 deer probably and not the one I need and there's a guy sitting on that stand right now and that deer's there that wide deer that that management buck and my dad's on the stand I sat on the first day and he sees that big, big deer with the tag in his ear. Um, he's just videoing him. He's not going to shoot him because he killed a an 11 point yesterday morning. So on the stand that I was hunting during bow season. So I've had seven deer out here so far. I had a little buck chasing him around, a little small eight, but they've worked off and uh, there's nothing out here right now, but. feeder should be going off before long so maybe it'll bring a couple more in but this is going to be a short one I'm probably going to get down at about 8 o'clock or 8.15 and, and, and start heading home because we got a long drive home so maybe we'll see a couple more maybe we won't but I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit alright guys that's going to wrap this trip up. I got two does and a yearling that are working their way off right now, but it's like 8 o'clock and I'm about to get down and go pick my dad up who watched the deer I'm after from daylight and he's still out there right now, so that kind of stings, but that's going to do it for this trip. I'll be home tonight, tomorrow. Um, me and Locke leave out for Missouri and Kansas, so get home, unpack, repack, and we'll, uh, we'll be headed out on another trip, so supposed to, uh, supposed to have some really good weather from what it looks like right now up there, so hopefully we can go up there and get it done, so that'll do it for me, guys. I'll see y'all in the next episode.